Happy New Year, everyone! Welcome back. I hope you had a fantastic holiday season. Today, we are going to explore using complementary colors in painting architectures. Let's get started. For today's painting, I'm using a reference photo of this beautiful fountain, which I took from Palais Longchamp in Marseille. I've worked on a few sketches to try capture the essence of the fountain and after some experimentation, I settle on this particular composition. But before diving into the final piece, I decided to create a color sketch to test out the palette I'll be using. For the creamy yellow tones often found in French architecture, I chose Naples yellow. It is relatively opaque color, so I made sure to add more water to achieve that transparent quality I'm aiming for. Since yellow is the base color, I opted for its complementary color violet for the darker tones. But to add an extra layer of interest, I introduced ultramarine blue and burnt sienna into the mix for certain shadowed areas. When I first started watercolour painting again, I exclusively used Payne's Grey for my shadow areas. However, as I explored the work of other artists, I noticed a broader spectrum of colours used for shadows. That inspired me to experiment with complementary colours, thereby expanding my palette and evolving my artistic choices.
And here we have the final result, the interplay of Naples yellow, violet, ultramarine blue and burnt sienna creates a vibrant and dynamic representation of the Palais Longchamp fountain which I have envisioned. I hope you'd give complimentary colours a try in your next artwork too. Thank you for joining me today. If you enjoy this exploration of complementary colors, don't forget to like this video, share and subscribe for more exciting content. Wishing you all a creatively fulfilling year ahead. Tune in next week as I'll be painting the beautiful hummingbird. Until next time, happy painting.